I'm Philip James coming to you from Walian, Taiwan. And today we're gonna to try something a little bit different. If you remember in my last video, when we talked about Taiwan history during the Japanese colonial era, I said we have to come back to Hualien. Why? Because it's fortified with all kinds of Japanese history here. So I wanna take you around to a few sites. We're gonna check out some old housing. Maybe we'll stop by a little old Japanese house and have a cup of coffee and uh, just explore Hualien a little bit. Where I'm riding right now, it used to be the site of an old Japanese Shinto shrine. So if you look at photos from back then, you'll see this beautiful shrine and what is now a roadway with cars it used to be a walkway across the river. So I wanna take us down to the, uh, the greenway there, which is like the waterway. It's just beautiful and it was all developed by the Japanese during the uh, occupation between 1895 and 1945 and just kind of take in some of the old Japanese landmarks and architecture that exists in Walian. So let's get started. We're going to head out to the uh, town of Walian. So yeah, you can see the shrine behind us and where I'm riding used to be a walkway that the Japanese would take up to their Shinto shrine. Uh, but now we're gonna go down to this greenway. Along this waterway, you can really see the Japanese influence because they love to like develop waterways into walking paths and just the beauty of the landscape and the trees and the greenery and the shading. And it really makes uh, the urban design pleasant for pedestrians and to get out and enjoy nature. So, this area right here, it's the whole like half mile radius around Pine Garden. And it's just fortified with so much Japanese uh, history of when they were in Taiwan. And more popular for a lot of tourists, they often go a little further outside the city to Jayan Shrine, which is like a mini Shinto shrine that's really popular with tourists. But I tell people if they have limited time in Hualien and they want to explore some of the Japanese past in Taiwan to skip that shrine because it gets crowded and come over here to uh, Pine Garden and the waterway and explore these old Japanese structures. Uh, also in town that's really cool, you'll see like the old Japanese wine distillery and now it's a farmer's market on the weekend and we can't uh, and we can't forget I know some people will debate where mochi came from but Walian is really famous for all their mochi and some say uh, that the influence of mochi in Walian was due to the Japanese even though there's also traditional Taiwan mochi or influence from China beforehand but you'll see these delicious uh, mochi shops all over Walian so we're gonna explore this area around the waterway, enjoy a little walk, have some coffee, and, uh, and see these old uh, Japanese structures uh, that are all situated right around Pine Garden. Right here in the neighborhood, you have a whole row, like a whole little neighborhood of old Japanese military housing. So remember Pine Garden? We're right next to it and there's these old houses that are more or less abandoned. So let's take a look inside. Some of them are pretty cool. Some still have like the artwork, the pictures still up on the walls. So let's take a look. One thing kind of creepy about walking into these old houses, you never know what's on the other side of the door. This one, it's almost like a ghost is opening and closing it. So let's take a look and see what's on the other side of this door. Hopefully not a ghost or a person. Only if walls could talk. You know, these 
pictures of the women. Look like maybe 1970s. So it'd be interesting to know who lived here after the uh, Japanese military housing. So probably a couple single guys you would imagine, maybe from China, away from home, and. Uh, they put this uh, these pictures up to keep them company, probably. house that we explore it's kind of like there's these little details that we see from each one like this one has a really cool ceiling looks like the original ceiling from when it was Japanese military housing but then out here looks like somebody has converted this abandoned lot into uh, what they call Taiwanese chewing gum the uh, beetle nut manufacturing let me take a look here he's got Beetle nut makes a lot of dentists happy. We talk about tooth decay. Yeah, I think that's what this is. It's really sweet. People will offer tea and say, enjoy some Taiwanese bubble gum. And this house is not Japanese military housing. From what I understand, it's newer. For those of you watching, maybe you can tell us the exact history on this style of architecture. But there's a lot of it involved in, but then right next to it is where you have the original Japanese housing. So for those of you watching, who's responsible for building this style? Because you see a lot of it. Let's check out, let's check out another house. Yeah, so you can see these houses aren't in very good condition. You know, walking around these floors, it almost feels like you're gonna fall right through. And then it's really cool to see these old walls, the way they used to uh, construct the wall. They almost use like a mud, uh, but it's really cool. I mean, here we are, one of these old Japanese military houses. And uh, yeah, the only, the only thing living here right now is, looks like there's some cats in the backyard. But other than that, it's pretty abandoned. So let's go next door, take a look at the next one. And hopefully I don't fall through the floor here because the floor is not that stable. Where I'm riding is another row of Japanese military housing, old Japanese military housing. But these houses are very small. And their doorways are very like short, so I think people were a lot like shorter back then. And as we see in like other cities around Taiwan, where the Japanese occupied, you'll notice the these boulevards, these broad boulevards. Mostly they're tree lined, and they're just a nice urban design. And you get the same thing here in Mualien, where it's this beautiful broad boulevard. That this rolls right into the sea, uh, into a park and a walkway. It's quite nice. When I'm in this area of Bolian, I love to stop by on this little corner shop for some tofu pudding with some special like lemon juice. If you watch my other videos around Taiwan, you know that I love tofu pudding, tofa, and this one's a little bit different. Uh, it's unique because they put like lemon juice in it. So I get the lemon juice, no sugar water, and it's quite popular. When you're in Wallyan, they say uh, this is like the most popular tofa in the city. Where I'm standing is an interesting landmark in the history of 
uh, the Japanese occupation of Taiwan and Walian. It's an old POW camp, prisoner of war camp. So somebody said this was like a detention, like the entrance behind me. And they'd go into a tunnel down underneath and then go across the way into the POW camp. I don't know exactly if that's correct or not, uh, but that's kind of like what some of the people in the uh, neighborhood say. This lot, this area is quite large where the old POW camp was. It's now a military uh, training facility for Taiwan. But a lot of people drive by it, including me, for, for a long time not realizing this was a POW camp during the uh, Japanese occupation of Taiwan and during World War II. We have all these like little back streets, back alleys in Walian, especially around Pine Garden. It's one of my favorite little coffee shops. It's got a cup of coffee. Let's see if Avita's working. Avita, hello. Niha. I'd like you to meet Avita. Some of the best coffee in Walian. What are we serving today? Guatemala, El Salvador, Ethiopia. Avita says Ethiopia. All right. How do you say in Taiwanese? Pauline. Yeah. Ethiopia coffee, Pauline. Pauline. How her? Pauline. So we're so we're lucky today because not only is this like a hundred-year-old Japanese home, but somebody who lived in the neighborhood way back when she's like ninety. Yeah, she's like ninety-six and she speaks Japanese. So we're gonna talk to her. We're gonna sip on coffee. We're gonna have, we're gonna have some of delicious Ethiopia, delicious Ethiopia coffee made by Evita and have a conversation with grandma in Japanese. <laughs> okay, so we're here at Roaster Coffee and we have a special guest. Gonna do something different for the end of this video, which is we're going to talk to a very special generation from Taiwan. And it's the older generation that speaks Japanese. So this is Taka Tereko, <laughs> is her Japanese name. And we're going to ask a few questions. And then after we speak with her, we're going to visit with three other people from her generation that speak Japanese. But we're going to hop over to Tainan for that. But for now, we have a few special questions for Taka Tereko. <laughs> she's 95 years old and she's in incredible shape very youthful so Taka Tereko I have some questions for you <laughs> oh, <laughs> so ちんとま。あの、なんかそう私ね。よ、9歳。よ、9歳。え、その時私子供ね、2人。子供。2人。主人はね、海連校の工業学校 先生。私日本語長い言わないとあまり上手言えないけどね。まあ、ジャペンの。目を通す。たんだしね、日本語習ったらいいんですよ。日本人はね。私覚えてるは日本人はね。So, so we're hearing about this period with Taka Tereko in Japanese. We're going to take one break. We're going to go to Tainan and hear from three other people from her generation. And then we're going to come back here and Taka Tereko is going to share one Japanese, one special Japanese song with us before we say farewell. It's okay. <laughs>
卒業して工業学校に住所学校に入って卒業して日本の会社に住職しましたそうですだからそうですかはいだからうちは日本語は大丈夫です一番はい一番です<笑>まあそうは言えないけどね日本語は大丈夫ですよお年玉をもらってそしてその毎年のように嬉しいけど悲しい時もありますあの最後をたもとに入れるとあの日本の着物っていうのはたもとが色くってよくあの最後落としますほとんど毎年最後なくします、うん、<笑> 5年6年からはもう戦争が激しくなって毎日ほとんどが同じ時間あたりにサイレンが鳴って敵が来ていますその代わり風習は受けていませんしばらくの間は何もなかったけどえー、えー、たんくいたんがサブトゥとそういでしそう女学校1年に入って風習が激しくなってあのー台南が爆撃されましたその前にまだ空襲を受けていない時にはあのアメリカの飛行機も配定して安ンあたりで空中戦がありましたまだ空襲を受けていない前でしたからみんな面白くがってその空中戦を見たんですキックマーティーコンテンツェ5人何人と開始、チェンチェンとギャンピョンが、アキギャンピョンが沈むのと、ウキパティを、ビコウウキハムと、ハムに、実際に爆撃されました。台南市が一番最初に、ウシュウを受けて、街全部が焼け野原になる。その夜、私たちは、勇者。を雇って田舎に疎開しましたその行く途中は車もなくずっと夜通して朝の明け頃にやっとあの疎開地の目的地に着きましたその途中で山と重なる OK、がありましたそれは全部その日に爆撃を受けた人々の死体です母が「あのそれは何ですか?」って聞いたら母が「もう聞かないでさっさと歩きなさいと」と全くの死体の山です「ヒデヒチアン」「ガウテマソカイキガティンクンチャブトティンクンガッカオプサ」サウテエボって言って、あ、途中こうやって言うとね、手が食いそうなんや、用茶はこう、言うとかんねえよ。あんまり文、あんまりこう、ゲナマンマン、カキンキャン、エトシヒチリヒシューティー、ホンシベスイテイ。ここは奥にの何百里離れて遠く満州の赤い夕日に照らされてどうもあの図へのいちのいたなんかそうやっぺの戦争やっぱりこっちちごこじなんかこうやっぺのたくさんめこはめこげジャペンタタンタタン台湾のペンペンペンペンペンその時私20歳か19歳だからねジャペンも戦争も日本に帰った帰りました<笑>